Well, it's been warm, and we're going to see it stay that way as we go into the rest of your evening, all the way into the entire week. It's currently sitting at 90s here in Baton Rouge. We're seeing a few clouds out there, but what we're watching, of course, is how it actually feels. It feels like 97, so you might be saying it feels a lot warmer than those low 90s here in Baton Rouge, 91 towards Gonzales and some upper 80s towards Kentwood and Hammond. And same thing out towards Lafayette, those upper 80s. As we take a look at what it actually feels like, Feels like 97 here in Baton Rouge. Feels like 99 towards Gonzales. Even the ones that are in the upper 80s feel like upper 90s and 90s for them. So it has been a warm day today. It's going to continue to stay on the warm side. The only thing we actually get a benefit from is that we get rid of some of the humidity and we start to see it actually feel more like what the actual temperature is. But that is still going to be on the warm side because by 8 o'clock we're still seeing mid 80s for us. By Midnight, we're starting to see some of those upper 70s and gradually cooling down. We're going to get into the upper 60s, some getting into the mid 60s because, again, a nice benefit from all the clear skies we see going into tonight is we're going to allow some of that heat we saw today to escape. So we're going to see more of those upper 60s, some just getting into those low 70s, and some clouds to start out the day. And then we repeat what we saw today going into tomorrow. Low 90s, going to have some humidity, but not as much. We're actually going to be seeing a little bit less humidity, so it's not going to be as uncomfortable, but still going to feel a bit warmer because we're staying in this very quiet weather pattern. No real big changes coming our way. That cold front, that's way out towards the west, not pushing through. The dry line just sitting over Texas. So us here, we're seeing a quiet weather pattern for the next several days. And with that, we're going to watch how our humidity kind of changes today. It was a little bit on the higher side. You can see it was a little bit more uncomfortable as we go into Tuesday. Same thing, still going to be on the higher side, but then going to the rest of the week. It kind of dips back down to what we're pretty used to, to that sticky t and then yet uncomfortable when it comes back when we see rain chances coming in for us on Saturday. Friday and Saturday, we do have the chance to see some afternoon pop-up showers. So watching again that heat index for the next couple of days. Tuesday, again, going to get back into the upper 90s. It's going to feel like the mid-90s on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's because our temperatures are just sitting at mid-90s as well. So if you're doing anything outside for the next several days, you'll want to take plenty of breaks, want to stay inside to get some cool down because 92 tomorrow and feeling like upper 90s is going to be on the warm side, even with the cool down that's coming in the upper 80s on Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. We're still going to watch some of those showers. So it feels a little bit like summer, guys. I wouldn't say exactly full swing summer. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would call it the dog days. We're approaching. I, oof, that, no? No. <laughs> you tell I'm not from here. <laughs> It's hot. Okay. It is hot. It, it, it five is. Five minutes and I'm sweating. Yeah, oh. but well, it's the beginning, not even the beginning of summer yet. And we're still seeing this, so. Wow. All right, Jay. Well, thank you so much for that.